Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful party invitation that actually you can make with the kids, which I think is so fun to prepare for a party by getting the kids involved. We're gonna use supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. As you can see here, this is a camp out invitation and it's done with kind of a girly flair. And um, I've used a little felt here for the clouds. We've got some card stock. We've got this beautiful crepe paper, which is so affordable as well as this, uh, this corrugated paper that we're using for the grass. Uh, so easy to make and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So what we're going to need first is a uh, piece of white cardstock. I have this five by seven and this is a quarter sheet. This is so you can get two from one standard piece of white cardstock. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can get um, four from one piece of cardstock. I try to make my cards so that there's not very much waste because there's nothing more frustrating than um, having all these little bits and pieces that you can't use for anything else, especially when you've paid good money for it. So what I'm doing is just kind of um, centering this up, leaving a little bit larger of a border on the bottom. Now you can um, hand write or whatever you want for the inside of the tent. What I plan on doing is actually um, putting a panel with more detailed descriptions like um, what to bring for the camp out and um, information such as cell phone numbers, contact numbers, stuff like that, just so that's all there. But here on the front, this could be, you know, stuck on the fridge and you can see all the dates and details and stuff right there. So um, the front of this card is it's a single fold card. It's pretty much going to be just very graphic on the front. Um, I'm going to stamp the little um, information here. This stamp is 20 years old but I just I could never get rid of it. I loved it so much. It's uh, just very simple and I think it's kind of girly because it's got the kind of the curly um, font on there. So I'm stamping that kind of in the center but over a little bit so I'll have room to write. So it's kind of to the left bottom center and I just give it a second for the ink to transfer and I'm using um, archival ink because I want to make sure it's not going to run and it's going to dry well on this uh, slightly textured paper. Now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to prepare the tent which is really easy. So what I've done here is I got all my supplies on my cutting board. I have a piece of crepe paper. Crepe paper is so cool because it's very stretchable and moldable but still very light so it's not going to add a lot to our um, to our shipping costs or mailing costs. So I have this, so my, my crepiness is going that way, crepiness. I've got a piece that is one, two, three, four, about five, uh, four and three quarter inches high and unstretched. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six inches wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some, you can use skinny sticks, popsicle sticks, coffee stirrers. Um, popsicle sticks aren't quite as long, so I would go with the skinny sticks or the um, coffee stirrers and take a little white glue and just along the edge, I am going to put a couple beads of glue, just like that, so I can fold over the um, little skinny sticks there. Now, this is what I mean about being a really fun kid craft. Um, it's going to have such a charming look anyway, but it's going to come out good no matter how much um, experience you have. And kids just love to use things like, you know, textured paper and glue and sticks and... You know, you could even actually use sticks from your yard, but you might need like a hot glue if you're going to do that because the um, it's not going to be so smooth and it's not going to want to marry up that well. And I'm leaving the uh, leftover part of the stick overhanging at the top so that it'll look kind of like tent poles. I just want to press it really good. If it doesn't seem like it wants to stick, you might need a little bit more glue, but the crepe paper glues really well. That's another thing I like about it. So just let that dry. And while that's drying, you can make some of the other um, embellishments for the card. So I've got a scrap of felt here. Again, another very kid-friendly pro uh, product. And I'm just freehand cutting a little cloud. So I want kind of bumps on the top, and I'm just going to have it kind of flatter on the bottom. Just a little bit of a curve on there. So I've got a cloud. Now, those are my fabric scissors, so I'm going to put those away so I don't accidentally grab them. Then what I did here was I just cut a circle out of a scrap of orangey yellow cardstock, and then I cut that into quarters, and that's how I got the little sun. So, you know, you get four suns out of one circle. And then I'm just going to cut some of the scraps here into straight lines. And then I'm going to chop those up to make the sun rays. And I'm going to make some long and some short just so I can kind of alternate them. But it doesn't really matter. You can do it however you like. And you can have the um, them fatter or skinnier. It's completely up to you. So I've got those pieces ready to go. Now this is going to be pretty well dry. It doesn't take very long. And what you want to do on the bottom end, so you get the top end of the sticks on the bottom end, you want to stretch it. Look at that. Look how much it stretches out. Isn't that cool? 
I just love this stuff. It feels like almost like fabric when you're working with it. And then you're going to slit from the middle here, just eyeball it, doesn't have to be perfect, till about an inch before the top. So it's, it's like that. All right, now we can start to put our card together. So we've got this all adhered. Now you may want to have some thick and tacky glue or some, um, some hot glue, it's up to you. And to make this little grass fringe, what we're going to do is just take a strip of corrugated paper. And this is great because you get 10 huge sheets in a pack for about, I think it's like $3 and they have it in rainbow colors. It's really nice and um, in fact, you might want to get some different colors and then you can actually do some craft projects with the kids when you're having a party. I always like to have a little activity going on at my kids' parties just in case, you know, they get bored or whatnot. You've got something that you can do. And then you just go around either with regular scissors or fringe scissors and you can cut that, trim that up just like that. And then you want to put that across the bottom of the card and I'm going to use some hot glue just for the sake of the video. But if you're using doing this with kids, use like a thick and tacky glue put that right on there. In fact, you could have this a little bit wider actually because we could we could do with that being a little bit wider, I think. I'm just going to kind of scrunch it down so it meets up with the uh, edge of the blue. I try not to waste waste supplies as I'm working. Then I flip it over and I just trim off the excess right from the sides. I find it's a little easier to do it that way than to try to measure it out because you don't really don't waste much. You just have a little sliver on the on the other end and then the rest of this will go onto your next card. And then um, we want to put our sun together. And don't worry if you didn't cut it out perfectly because we'll just trim it from the back just like we did with this. Use our white glue here. I like to put it in these uh, fine tip applicator bottles. This is just Mod Bodge, but um, I just put it in the fine tip applicator bottle. It's really handy for gluing down either die cuts or small hand cut items like we have here. Actually, I don't think that needs any trimming. And then what I'm going to do is just draw the little sun rays here with my glue and replace my cap because I don't want it to dry out on me. And then I can just stick down my little sun rays. Now this is all stuff that your children can do. So, you know, let them have some of the fun. And you know, it can keep them busy while you're trying to get other party things planned. But I like I like doing invitations because you can do those so much in advance, unlike cooking or a lot of the other things that have to be kind of done at the last minute. And then the cloud, we put our cloud there. I think I'm gonna use hot glue just for the sake of the video to make sure I can get it glued down. And then our tent, I like to glue one side than the other, so I'm going to start by putting hot glue on that side. Again, use tacky glue if you're working with kids. Just glue it down at an angle. And then the other side. And then to deal with this flap here, you just want to put a little bit of glue in the middle and press it, press the crepe paper right down into it. Now you can leave the tent closed up if you want to, but I think it's kind of cool to um, glue the edges back so that it reveals what's inside. But if you do this, if you have it like this, open like that, you're going to want to mail it in like a bubble mailer so that um, so that it doesn't get crushed. Otherwise, you can mail it flat and then just um, they can open it up to reveal. Either way, it's going to be fine. Paper Mart does sell regular um, catalog envelopes, which I think would be appropriate if you're going to do them flat, or they sell the air bubble mailers, which would be good for... Um, for if you want to uh, send it out like this because it does have a lot of texture and it looks really cool that way. So then you want to flip it over or you could leave it like this if you if you purchase an envelope that's a little bit larger to account for the um, for the overhang of the uh, of the crepe paper so it doesn't get bent. Let's trim that off and then if you like use a pen to draw a few birds. You can put them wherever you like. You can have a couple over here 
really just flying V's, nothing fancy. And there you have it, a customized, one of a kind, camp out, camping, glamping, girl invitation for a sleepover, or you could change up the colors and do it for a boy too. I wanna to thank you so much for watching. Please check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.